Got good shit in stock today. Boss. I'll fill her up. I'll be here if you need me. Will ya? This thing is. I'm here if you need me, man. Completely broken. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. I, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah's property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what though? <sighs> I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here She's to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, 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 whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Were you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, no, no. no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... No, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What, what did you mean, distracted? Oh, no, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Your what? No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know, and if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not going to change who I am and who you are. It's 
make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they... are they headed to your work? <sighs> Shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker? Yeah? Chief's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. Knock him dead. <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, shut up. Which... Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that they... just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. Remember anything about their life, you know, from before? St. John, this is O'Brien. Bunch of Alzheimer's. O'Brien, what do you got? Holy I need to see you in person. And oh, Jesus, O'Brien, just would you tell me what you found? Is, is, she, is she alive or isn't she? Hold on, I'll get it. I have something to give you. O'Brien. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. God damn it. D. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said... Booze, man, listen. Just, uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta... You remember what I told you, um... The night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, D. What the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but coming? there's... Something I gotta do. Deacon out. Oh, hey, open up. I've seen him before. Deek, deek, deek. Hey, I heard. You know? I mean, what you did for us. How you... The Rippers. All of them. I just... I know you had to do it. What else was gonna stop them, you know? Yeah, look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, right? I mean, it had... we had to... Hey, come around more often. What information, O'Brien? We miss you. What the hell can you possibly have left to say?
that I would give a damn about. Open the gate. He's been around before. I, I didn't think, think I'd see you around so much. You know, than before. Like a sad, bad bunch. Like a bunch of Alzheimer's patients. St. John, I got a bounty job for you. I'm listening. You're looking for Ned Walker. Wears a red scarf. He and his crew came to the gate the other night. We wouldn't let him in. He killed one of my guards and took off. Hmm. You have someone to follow him? He's holed up at a marauder camp just north of O'Leary Mountain. I think you know where that like is. No, but I'll find him. Yeah, I'll check in. Deacon out. Cope, I'm at the camp. Copy that. Cope out. Was he? Like I said, a kid. 19, 20. No idea how he lasted this long. But he was a good kid. Why are you asking? You got him! If you spent more time at the camp, got to know folks. Maybe you'd find a reason. Cope out. Information for the information, O'Brien. You possibly have left to say. But I would give a damn about it.
Philip's gonna want that. There we go. Finally. Jesus.
Nice work. Lost more than a few men trying to hunt down that son of a bitch. Next time, just come to me. You volunteering? Never thought I'd see the day. My bike. Go see Manny. If you got enough camp credits, he'll fix you right up. <laughs> You're back. It's good to see you again. Jazzy, how's the ear trade going? Sounds insane, right? That's all I got today. Deacon St. John. How you doing, buddy? Jazzy, how's it going? Deke, good to see you. Hey, Manny. That bike of yours, need some fuel? She don't want to run out of fuel in the shit, that's for sure. I'll wrap that up for you. Oh, yeah, that's a good piece. Okay, man. Hey, drop by next time. Might have something new in it. Deacon, my man! Deacon St. John. Hey, hold on. a job for you. Go, oh, hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll see if I can, uh, make time. Deacon out. <sighs> so what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust who, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right. About your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Negro personnel, federal officials, and, well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a Class 4 federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No? Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. 
the Shuku. Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I wanted to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Boozer, Booze man, come back. Yeah, Dean. Hey, listen, listen. Uh, a year ago, we were with you. My Boozer, thinking about riding some. Listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Indeed. Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. Well, just listen to me. Just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was... He was bragging about knowing every goat trail in 100 miles. Said there was a, a trail that went around Mount... Teals, um, I don't know, some. Tealson, Tealson, yeah, that's it. Tealson, pass. Yeah, well, why the hell you... Wait, you're... Shit. You, you've 
talk to... She's alive? Sarah's alive? Deke? Hey, listen to me. O'Brien, they, uh... Boozer, he found her ID badge. Yeah. Boozer, uh... I, I think that she's alive. <laughs> never lost hope. Yours never. You never gave up. I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but... God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I... I gotta find her. I got some shit I gotta take care of. Are you coming back? Coming back? What, what do you what do you mean? Loser told us. Loser told you. Okay, look, there's nothing to tell. There's no way over the Sanium Pass, you know that. Let's go. Yes, yes, I'm coming back. Listen, like I said, I got some shit to do. Take it out. You know, way over the Tielson Pass. He told me once that I I'd... told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done. After everything I've. What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's you camp. The things that you, you get did. Out hey, you listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. What if you could take it all back? Huh? What if you could fix it? The fact that I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. <sighs> All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me you don't come back. I got you. <sighs> Shit, now I gotta talk to Boozer.
Well, we're up here pissing our pants about a bunch of rippers. Holy Bruce shit. Are right, I... Uh-huh. Huh. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. Will belongs to them now. We'll survive. Hmm. Yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving isn't living. <laughs> Something Jack used to say, doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it while we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show when shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah but I think Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. Uh, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> when we rode out of farewell, without Sarah, without Jack or anyone, I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. Red nomad again, huh? Yep, I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. She's out there. You can find her. Deke, you ready? Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, sure, Mike, whatever you say. Big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Now that I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us. Right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us? Campers, yeah? You go, and you find your woman. You know where to find me. Yeah. Hey, you know what, you know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're, you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. You ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. Come on, this way. 
Okay, I'm following you. Jack out fishing once. Before, you know. Oh, shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. <laughs> that sounds like Jack. Oh, uh, you ran a pretty tight club. Oh, you boys raised some hell back in the day. I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. It's not murder if they shoot at you first. Summer? A few. Thousands. Too many to count. I weigh me bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, ear chugging dads, and their snot nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow, floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. A trail of colorful ants from LA to farewell to here, nonstop. Glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the diamond-like valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. What does it matter if everyone else is dead?
You're out there. I'll find you. Mayday! Mayday! Captain Corey? You there? Come in! Mayday! No one's listening. Damn it! Try again! What the hell? Jesus. I don't know what we would have done without oh, you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Oh, man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Uh, Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> What? What the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. Freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Let's go. Following you. Shoots County Militia? Look, man, all I know is they feed me. They want me to salute and yes, sir. I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? You camp out here? We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. Yeah, okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that we were about? Well, you can forget it. Girls got rules about that. Frat fratern fraternizing. Fraternizing! <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, follow orders, nobody messes with you. Women same as the men. Don't matter to the colonel. I'm not... Uh, listen, I, I'm just... I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake, and they would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. 
Yeah, yeah, it's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh, do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from, uh, from the refugee camp? Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. The captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. This is it. It's Corporal Russell. Open up. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with the body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting? Well, are you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. So, how long have you been drifting? One, two, Hard to one, say. Two, uh, you one, lose track two, of time out there, the you know? Cadence. There was a couple of camps I used to do runs for, bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks? Or men? Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Oh, which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter if they're gone now, they're overrun. Uh, Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun? Let's work, people. Keep uh, yeah. moving. Yeah. Moving sergeant. That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Here. Take this. Militia script. Camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the Colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. Hmm. He doesn't look like militia. Go, go, go! You gotta move your ass! Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, nah, um, man, name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You Wade. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, become an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday, okay, yesterday. I've been, been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. 
Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah, come on. Where the hell are you? You're here, somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. Nope, not here. Cute drawings. Oh, God, I'm glad Sarah and I never had kids. Losing them must have been... Check this Why one. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Ah, oh, damn it. She's not here either. You feeling any better? It's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but. Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. No, could it? St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. Oh, oh, oh. On my way. Good day. You are new here? I am Lumi Ikeda. Deacon, Deacon St. John. You're, uh, you're the bounty collector around here? Yes, of course. We welcome anyone who will work to... Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey. What's up? I, ha I haven't seen you around before. L Lucas Monroe. Yeah, uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Deacon St. John. Well, uh, take a look around. I, I, I got all kinds of bike parts, if, if you got credits. Yeah, thanks. Oh, good, good, good choice, gotta say. All right, then. Oh, okay, then. Stop by soon. How's it going? New around here? Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergie. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just got here. Well, Deacon St. John... You do your job, and we'll get along just fine. How's that? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Moving, Sergeant. Yes, Moving, yes, Sergeant. Sergeant. See ya. Together. Keep it together. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some.
without survivors. Are you looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? Couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so, uh, there won't be any boob prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. You, uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations? Ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half-eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What'd you find? The fence has been cut. Rust. So it was cut recently. Yeah, come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. <sighs> this way. Wait, 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 hold up. Uh, you find something? Yeah, shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. I want to take a look at- Look out! More wolves! I see him! That's the last of them. everything. Okay, I want to take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on. Let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? The ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. 
When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They'd been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that? Yeah. there with you. I gotta say, you're getting tired running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. Well, look, are you gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them just in this part of the state alone. You know, we've got to start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The colonel will fill you in if he'd let you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah. It's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. Vasquez is there. What would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until you're dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. See your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, see about that. Oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want.
behind me. You give me cover if you have to. He isn't my man. Not anymore. Wait, whoa, 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 easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Hurry out. Come on.
we brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Well, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Oh. You ready to meet the Colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Or the hell not. So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. And you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know, cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? First year out here, seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, <laughs> a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. What do you think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Hold up. I want to show you something. So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. no. It sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pic? Oh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> My name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... Oh. Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. What would my mom say if she was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw fighter? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. <laughs> Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, do you think I said that a long time ago? You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. 
That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhD is to be very sexy. Oh, yeah, I bet. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get over it now. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, it, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Oh, wait, is this a platform? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal rowing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. You think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. Oh my god. god look at that moonlight. It is it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean, like, all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean, the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies... Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right! I do! You do not! Like, when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. Something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? Deacon? 
Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as you're ready. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one, the second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring on my finger? Uh, you know, <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with this little bang. It's just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, oh, it's Morier Invictus. <laughs> it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. What well, you're gonna get me? Real ring, though, right? Not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. Because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring, yeah. right? Because your ring, right. something more simple, without phase. Okay. <laughs> All right. oh, shit, I'm sorry. No, it's your ring. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello. Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay. Bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. What did you drive? I'm sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. When phones went away, the cloud went away, the photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. My father was a photographer. Old school, dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. Seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. You got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher, man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher, man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. 
I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. The side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hut! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty forgives yeah. Amen. this. Amen! <laughs> but here, on this woman's face <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Get her out of here. Get Fuck out. you. Come on, gorgeous. Let's goddamn go. Goddamn redneck asshole. Get off of me. Swear to God. What about you? Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And um, no, sir. I uh never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain. Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed! Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. You must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the dog take a look at you. Also strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run-in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Yeah, thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? How is fit to serve? Lara bien. You doing runs out in the ship? 
<laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Mm. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. <laughs> Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place. I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, um, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. What do you say? Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. All right, now what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an Ark Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades. Having machine guns and RPGs, we have the equipment to make ammunition. Every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail.
The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use uh, a gun. I guess I'll Are go you find a bush. Alright. Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit. He's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you're working on napalm? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more exempt officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, eight... Turpin, tur Get out. Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out on the shit. Read this. Huh? Read this. Then you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, and lactic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Sir, I don't. Dead. You're, you're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. We had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and Farewell I was overrun. They said that everybody the was dead. I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. See you. Hey, hey. 
Hey, listen, <laughs> we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need hey, mercury. what are you doing Any here? Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me? If the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Well, yeah, it makes sense. I'd do that if I had enough credits, you know? Oh, big spender. Huh? Ah, okay. Hey, Corporal. I'll see you. <sighs> Corporal. Hey. New guy? Name's Caleb. Caleb Tomlinson. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just rode in. Oh, cool, man. Hey, listen, if you need something for your ride, you come see me. Between us, Lucas, the Canuck over at Diamond Lake, he'll rip you off, man. <sighs> Corporal, see ya.
Corporal. Sarge. Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. St. John, come in. This is Captain Curry. I've got a job for you. Captain Curry, um, at the Diamond Lake outpost, I assume? Copy that. Sarah and her herbal teas. But Matt can go to hell. Oh, my God, Colonel's Bible looks pretty well read. I saw him with Captain Corey. Let him in. Corporal. Good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? 
The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man, Sergeant Lee Anderson, was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the code of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? I've marked the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently, like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great. What's up? Take it, St. John! Hey! Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. Let's just, just <laughs> check it in on you. See, this is the whole swearing. That was some shit. <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. Well, hey, hey, what, what, the, what the hell you, you got, they got you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spit all day, burning out nests, chopping out trees, hauling in the wood. So, sorry, sorry what, are, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on... Oh, shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on, uh, on uh, bio-weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks to the ground, am I right? <laughs> yeah, look, Taylor, I gotta go. Captain Corey, I'm at the site where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. All right, Anderson, let's go take care of business. Scrap. This will help. somewhere. Where the hell is he? 
Which way? Oh shit, that wolves. This is it. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Oh my god, is that Anderson with the dragon? Oh, how the hell am I gonna get my bounty? Dead Coyote Lava Cave, hell. A uh, marauder camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. Oh, I've got to find another way to that cave. Got it. Okay. Uh, St. John. Corporal St. John. <laughs> You got your ears on, man? Hey, does this, this thing even work? I don't think this radio's working. Taylor. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. Well, hey, hey, what, what, the, what the hell you, you got? They got you. Four bounties. Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. I, I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? Taylor. Is he right now, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so words on the camp that drugs are making their way in right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. But do you know anything about that? I don't do drugs, Taylor, so no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 I, I don't know either. I'm just, I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits acting all suspicious. He rides in and out of camp all the time, and so I thought, I thought I'd follow him. Okay, uh, you were saying? No, 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 I, I don't know either. I'm just, I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits acting all suspicious. He rides in and... And out of camp all the time, and so I thought I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, oh, goddammit. Taylor, listen to me. You just go to Corey, let him handle it. You got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, what, what were you saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call. Yeah. Okay, Mr. St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, uh, out. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, tell what the hell are you doing? Down. Get in there. Okay, here we go. Uh, St. John. St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing even work? I don't think it's really Taylor. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John! Hey! Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. Just, just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since we're in. Okay, what were you saying? Deacon St. John! Hey! Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. Just, just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. Well, hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got, they got you doing? I'm, 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 I'm
or some shit, spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, sorry, sorry what, are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on wood. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on uh, on uh, bio weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Look, Taylor, I gotta go. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, uh, um, hey. Let's <sighs> squeeze through here. Right, you still got your militia armband? <laughs> use this. I need scrap. I got a use for you. St. John, Corporal St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing gonna work? I don't think it's range. Taylor. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, nothing. This is just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in thing. Oh, some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. 
Well, hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spending all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, sorry, sorry. What, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on uh, on uh, bio weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them, freaks the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Well. Taylor, you gotta go. Are you on? Are you sh not being monitored? Oh shit! Huh? That's what I thought. Gotta go. Saint John out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. Very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. The same Nero that abandoned us here in this shit two years past. Some would call these people fools, but I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take treason lightly. But I am a reasonable man. So you get one warning. Listen up. Stop what you're doing, now, before we find you, cause we will, and when we do, you will pay. I'll personally stream a lot of the biggest tree I find, and while you are breathing your last, we'll call you and lead you to the freaks you love. That is a promise. This is Mark Cole for Radio Free Oregon. Hey, nah, I'm not done with you yet. I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna finish this shit later. I bet you all thought I'd forgotten about you. Huh? Yeah? Okay, here we 
go. Shit. Is that it? Is that all you got? Yeah, that's what I thought. Next time you set up an ambush, don't pick on the wrong guy. I wonder if they had a bunker around here. I bet they do. Here, a map, yes. Hey, what's this? Crafting, yes, 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 good. More ammo.
free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The feds were whining babies, suckling at the teeth of us taxpayers. But dumb as they were, we can't underestimate them. You gotta know that Chief Muckety Mucks are hiding out there in some bunker, waiting for the freaks to die off. They didn't save the hungry, or their precious constituents. You know the real reason they're in power. They saved the elite, the men and women who played ball. They're sitting underground, probably drinking champagne while they wait. Meanwhile, we're out here dying, suffering. Also, the feds can hit the damn reset button. But they didn't account for one thing. We're not as stupid as they thought we were. And once they emerge to reclaim the world when the freaks are gone, we'll be waiting. Oh, yes, we will. They'll be sorry they ever came out of hiding. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Oh, Jesus, even all the way down here, I can't get away from goddamn Radio Free Oregon. This'll do.
Oh, here we go. <laughs> Good. Here we go. Yeah, now we're in business. off figures. Fuse blown. Oh, where the hell am I gonna get a fuse? You gotta take a closer look. This is it.
open. Feels, yes. It's gonna bring them all down on me. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> shut the hell up. Living through Use chemistry. Step the light coming in. A goddamn waste of time. I hear you. What are you gonna do now? I'm not gonna join those bastards, I'll tell you that much. I've got a survey map. We were gonna dig corpse disposal sites. Fuck it. Might as well call them what they were. Mass graves from here to Sea Rose Beach. That's where I'm headed. Sea Rose Beach. So, how many? 
many MREs you got in there? Yeah, well, the coast ain't such a bad idea. At least I haven't seen any freaks who can swim. Well, hope you made it, Marty. Good night. Nest. <sighs> Gotta be right around here. <sighs> There's another one. Time to burn. <sighs> Smell a nest. Gotta be right here.